सत्तर मिनट सत्तर मिनट है तुम्हारे पास शायद तुम्हारी जिंदगी के सबसे खास सत्तर मिनट लकीली सत्तर मिनट नहीं सत्तर दिन है यू हैव अप्रोक्सीमेटली सेवेंटी डेज लेफ्ट बिफोर योर फाइनल डे गेट एग्जामिनेशन हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ माय चैनल आई एम किशल आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल so from the thumbnail and i hope from the intro part of this video you will know the topic of today's video so gate schedule is up in the first two weeks of february as expected the gate exam will be conducted that means approximately 70 days are there in your hand for your gate preparation before the final day gate examination so in this video i'll give you a detailed strategy about what are the things that you must do in these next 7 days so they, these are the do's uh, that typically all the toppers used to do for the last few months of your of their gate preparation so that i'll be sharing with you in this particular video but the most importantly what are the things that you must avoid for the next 70 days that i'm going to share in this particular video so these are the habits uh, often mess up your your gate preparation so that's why you must avoid these things for having a smooth preparation before your final day gate examination in gate 2026 So that will be the content of today's video. If you are interested, if you are a serious candidate for Gate 2026, please do watch the video till end. But before starting the video, as I always say, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe my channel, hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly. And if you have liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Without further ado, let's get started into today's video. So first, let's talk about what are the things that you must do in the remaining seventy days that is there before your gate exam. The first thing that you must do is that you should complete your syllabus as soon as possible. So I hope by now many of you who is serious about gate twenty twenty six has already completed your syllabus and probably you are uh, you are giving mock tests and revising subjects and all. But if you are someone who is yet to complete your syllabus, this is high time you should focus on completing your syllabus because it's already mid of November. You have just two and half months left before the final gate exam, and you know if you are still uh, not able to finish, the, actually a high alarm or high alert. So that's why I will suggest to you that complete the syllabus as soon as possible. Maybe maybe remaining this uh, month of November, you can you can focus on completing your syllabus. If there are two or three subjects is there, you can complete it uh, by end of November. But if there are more more subjects is there, I will suggest to you that leave um, two three subjects and go with the others. uh because it's not possible for you to complete your whole syllabus and you can't wait uh till end of december maybe mid of january to complete your syllabus and then go for mock test and all so that will not be a good strategy i will suggest that complete your syllabus as soon as possible and if there is more subjects is remaining leave few of them and go with the others the next thing you must do is that you should start appearing for the mock test so i have already made a video about mock test detail video about mock test a couple of days back you can go and check it out but the main idea that i have to convey again to you is that start giving mock test and after giving the mock test don't forget to analyze it because if you are not analyzing the mock test there is no gain of giving any mock test so whatever marks you are getting a mock test that is secondary what is more required or what is more desired is that you analyze your mock test uh, find the weak areas work on that uh, work on the mistakes that you are doing what are the silly mistakes that you are doing and try to improve your score uh, so mock test you know you should give i will suggest give a mock test uh, in a gap of one or two days i i i will suggest you that give 15 to 20 mock test that will be sufficient for you and also one thing one more thing that you have to do is that when you are giving this mock test in between revise the subject so for example you have given a mock test and you see few other subjects you are not able to recollect during uh, solving the question from those areas i'll suggest you the days uh, in between the mock test you try to revise the subjects that you are you are lagging behind so this is how parallelly you will be, your practice will be going on with the mock test at the same time you will be revising the subjects and this is how actually your fine tuning of your preparation will be happening so this i will suggest you that you 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 follow this process uh, till first week of january or maybe second week of january maybe 15th of january till then you can follow this uh, giving mock test pa prepare parallelly or revise parallelly and then the last 3 weeks or last 1 month before the final exam i always suggest that you don't give any mock test uh, because if you give too many mock test your mind is kind of framed towards those question that is typically set by different coaching institution but remember in the gate exam you won't be getting those question so these mock test a kind of a platform where you practice uh, you revise the subjects you practice the concept that you have, you have studied uh, but these questions will not be coming in the final exam so that's why you shouldn't give too much of mock test uh, 
सो फॉर लास्ट थ्री वीक्स और फोर वीक्स बिफोर द एग्जाम दैट मीन्स टिपिकली आफ्टर फर्स्ट वीक ऑफ जनवरी और आफ्टर जनवरी फिफ्टीन आई विल सजेस्ट यू दैट गो बैक स्टडी ऑल द सब्जेक्ट अगेन Uh, study from the main note or from the main textbook where you have studied from the in the, in the very first phase of your gate preparation uh, so study in detail those subjects solve previous question paper again and solve the tricky question that you encounter during your preparation so these are the three things you have to you have to do and i think that and i think that is sufficient uh, because if you revise well if you solve the previous question paper again and if you see just the tricky question uh, that will be sufficient for your gate examination and also one more thing that in those last couple of weeks start preparing mentally for the final day gate examination so these are the things these are the do's that you should be following for the next 70 days that is remaining before your gate examination now let's discuss what are the things that you must avoid in the remaining 70 days or two and a half months that is there before your gate examination the first thing is don't overstudy and don't memorize the thing Uh, overstudy is something that i would recommend anyone who is preparing for gate examination overstudy means uh, you are just uh, following rote learning you are memorizing things uh, you are not understanding the subject it's a mechanical way of preparing for the gate exam and that will not help believe me that will not help uh, gate will test your fundamental knowledge your basic knowledge about a particular topic so if you don't understand it and if you just memorize it blindly that will not help you you know you will just say that i have studied for 15 hours 16 hours 18 hours but at the end you know you will not be able to solve a question that these iits will ask you in the in the gate examination that's is very important that you understand this topic well and study you don't uh, memorize the thing into your mind and also don't uh, you know over study uh, so a consistent uh, studying habit is needed obviously for the last two and a half months you will be pushing a bit maybe you will be studying a bit more than what used to be uh, for for last couple of months but yeah i mean don't uh, over study like don't study for 15 16 hours i mean those uh, numbers won't won't say anything uh, so maybe 6 to 8 hours or maybe maximum 10 hours you can you can focus on studying uh but not more than that don't put any pressure in your mind uh study uh, as long as you are able to understand the subjects and if you are getting exhausted maybe you can you can disconnect you, you can do something other something uh, productive and then come back and again study so these are two things i think this is most important that you don't over study and also don't memorize the thing next important thing is don't waste your time now here i'll be maybe a bit of contradict of the last point where i'm saying you don't over study don't study for longer time now now i'm saying that don't waste your time so what i'm trying to say is that you, you probably you will you'll be studying for 6 to 8 hours but remaining maybe 16 hours obviously you will not be sleeping for 16 hours there will be some times maybe you will not be studying but don't do anything that is not productive that is you know diverting your mind for example watching too much of reels in the instagram uh, doing social media for longer time watching some tv shows maybe these are the things actually you know divert your mind so maybe whatever you are studying in the morning uh, if in the afternoon you spend couple of hours watching instagram reel or spending times in social media then whatever you studied in the morning that is gone so that's why i'm saying that don't do anything uh, uh that is not productive maybe you can you can you can listen to some some good music uh, you can you can st- you can read some books uh, you can watch some motivational videos so these are the things that is that is really productive that actually helps you in your preparation so do these things and if you if you have no other things to do you can sleep but don't do these kind of things like social media reels and all for the next 70 days i can say from my personal story i have feel it actually that uh, if you are doing something productive and if you go and watching this uh, videos or reels in the social media that actually hamper your focus so your focus is very important you are in a zone that you, for the for the next two and a half months you have to be in a zone that you you want to crack gate examination so that's why whenever you are not studying maybe you don't like studying you are getting exhausted do something that is uh, that is productive Uh, anything you can do but don't do anything that is not productive so that's my second point that don't waste your time doing something that is not productive next thing that i will suggest you to avoid is that don't travel for the next two and a half months and don't go for any party or chilling out things uh, if you are someone who loves to do party loves to travel next two and a half months please try to avoid it but these things again you know it will divert your mind for example you are maybe preparing for 5 to 6 days and suddenly you go for shopping you go for party in the weekend or maybe you go to some places to travel then your whole preparation for the last 5 days is actually gone 
Uh, so try to avoid, I know you have friends uh, maybe uh, who are enjoying their life, who are maybe getting placed, maybe they are doing parties and all, but try to avoid these things for now because uh, this time is not for those things. If you get diverted continuously, then it will actually hamper your preparation. So try to avoid these things, try to avoid going to shopping or parties or some places that will actually help you in your gate preparation. Next thing is don't fail to plan. It's very important that you follow a proper plan. So there's a nice proverb that if you fail to plan, you're actually planning to fail. That means if you are not maintaining a proper routine for the next 70 days, you're actually you know preparing for a failure in the gate examination. So that's why it's very important that you follow a proper routine for the next uh, two and a half months that is there, you're there before your gate examination and follow it strictly. Uh, so that what will happen is that you, you should know that what is your target for every day. You should also track that whether you are able to achieve the target or not. So this is very, very important that if you are if you are planning to have a very good rank in the gate examination, you have to control everything. As I already mentioned that you have to be in a zone of gate, gate examination. So that's why following a proper routine or proper plan is very, very important. Next is don't start any new habit now. Uh, many people used to think that I'll be going to gym, maybe I'll, I'll wake up early in the morning. So these habits don't start now. Because what will happen is that, you know, uh, scientifically it is proven also that we have a limited willpower. Uh, and in this phase of your preparation, you need your full willpower for the preparation. So if you start any new habit now, your willpower will be divided for those habits. For example, you start waking up early in the morning. So, you know, you need willpower to, to, to do that, you know, for maybe next 20 days or 30 days, you have, to, you have to use your willpower to wake up early in the morning. Then you, what will happen is that you're, you're, a certain part of your willpower will be gone for that particular habit and whatever remaining is there, that will be actually investing for your gate preparation. You will find that you are getting a bit exhausted in the day for the preparation. So that is not desired. So that's why don't start any new habit now. Whatever new things that you want to do, you keep it up after the gate examination. Once the gate, gate examination is done, you can go and start those things. But for the next 70 days or two and a half months that is there before the gate examination, don't start any new habit because that will eventually hamper your gate examination. And my final suggestion or final tips for the don't section is that don't ignore your health. It's very important for the next 70 days, you have to be physically fit and mentally alert. Why I'm saying it that if you fall into any kind of fever or if you get sick, that will actually you know affect your preparation. So this is very important that you take care of your health. Uh, you have to be physically fit so that you know there is no fever. Uh, you you are you are able to study properly, and you have to be also mentally alert because you have to be mentally prepared also for the final day. And that preparation also should be starting from now onwards. Uh, so that's why uh, don't ignore your health. Uh, take proper sleep. Uh, drink water, uh, don't take any junk food in for the next uh, 70 days. And these, these small things, if you follow, uh, I think that will, be, that will be good for you. And if you, if you be healthy for the next 70 days, then it can give you 100% for the preparation. So that is very, very important. And that is my final point that don't ignore your health and take care of your health. So yeah, that's it guys. That's it about the video. I hope this video will be helpful for all the students from different branches uh, to prepare for GATE 2026 and, and they can utilize these next 70 days in a proper way so that they get they can get a, a good score, a good rank in the GATE 2026 exam. Uh, so if you have any query or question related to GATE examination, let me know in the comment section. I'll try to answer it. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Share this video with other people, other aspirants who, who may be your friend or who you might know. So share this video with them also so that they also get to know about it. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe my channel. Hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly. That's it about this video. I'll be waiting this video. Until then, bye.